Hey everyone, John here, um, and this is going to be a series of vlogs regarding the new season of Project Runway on Bravo. Bravo. Um, I've got notes on the first episode, so why don't we get started. Um, there's 15 um, fashion designers this season to start off with. Um, as it gets closer, as some of these um, designers get knocked off, I'll be able to concentrate on my favorites. Maybe when it's the top 10 designers, uh, I'll concentrate and see who I think is my favorite to win the show. But for now, let's just get to know them and see how they go. Um, Rami is the Jerusalem fashion designer who's got the shop in LA. He did an awesome, great um, dress. It was very flowy. It was very Heidi Klum. Um, he looks like he's a good contender. Chris um, is the resident big boy of the <laughs> of the group here. Um, uh, don't be surprised if this designer turns out that he's a friend of Rosie O'Donnell. I think this is um, Rosie's uh, infamous friend who um, designs clothes, um, theatrical clothes that they showed in the preview. Um, let's see, then there's Christian, which I guess he'll be the token gay boy this season. He's a little too fierce, he's a little too crazy, he's going to be a little bit too bitchy and way too gay. Um, Carmen uh, is the ex model who's now a fashion designer and she thinks that's going to give her inspiration. Um, her fashion sense was kind of all over the place, so I'm not too impressed with her yet. Um, Jillian um, seemed very, 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 very boring. Um, I'm not impressed by her style. Um, she's just there. Um, Kit, or quote unquote pistol, um, seems like a very 80s rock pop, pop punk girl. Um, she did a cute little dress, very um, blondy, very go go's kind of dress. It was cute. Um, Kevin, um, he's the one with the black tank top and the, the full gold tee who claims he's from the street, but I think he was joking about it. Uh, I liked his dress, but it was a little too short. Um, let's see, and there's Jake, and I guess Jake is going to be the super hunk of the show, um, because everyone's already calling him cute and sexy and adorable, and, um, I guess, um, the producers are agreeing because they already showed him in his underwear, so he's the first one we saw in his underwear grooming for the, for the morning, um, wake-up call, so I guess that's going to be happening. Um, I loved his dress, it was very cool. Uh, it had a very Grace Kelly look and feel to it, so I think he's going to do very good. Um, Steve is our resident Chicago designer. I guess he's a um, um, decorator um, over at the Museum of Science and Industry. Um, his suit was very sooty. It was very boxy. It was very Veronica Lake with the hair, the mouth that he had. Uh, it was cute, so he might have some potential. Um, Simone, um, she did an okay dress. Um, no, actually she didn't. This is the one that had the, the jacket, the fabric jacket, and the dress. That was just um, two pieces that totally did not go together. Um, Elisa, um, she's the, the one that comes from the theater world. She's the Julie, Julie Tamar wannabe because she deals with puppets and um, Pepper Mache, and she's very dramatic and she wants to be very avant-garde and she's, you know, very over the top. Um, um, her dress was very boring. It was not dramatic. Um, then there was Marion, um, I guess he was a flower shop decorator, and his fashion sense stems from um, flowers and inspired by flowers. Um, he was very good, I liked what he did. Rick is a little Latino queen boy who um, designs lingerie. Um, he was the first one to cry, so yes, the official tears, the first tears shed on Bravo this on Project Runway go to Ricky. Um, his dress was very boring, it was just there. It was a, ba a baby doll dress that had some hint of lingerie look to it. Um, he made it to the bottom three, so he almost got eliminated. Uh, there's Sweet Pea. Um, she did this bubble dress that did not work for me. Um, she's another punk girl, um, another rocker type girl on this show. Um, so, I don't know, we'll get to see what she does later. Then there's Victoria. Yes, um, she's the Asian girl with Victoria as in a, with a Y. Um, she did a very cute black dress. It was a very cute, very um, um, cute dress. Um, in the bottom three, like I said, was Ricky with the, the bad baby doll dress. And then there was Elisa, the other Latina, who was Julie Tamar. She was too dramatic. It was kind of um, not there. And the one that did end up leaving was Simone. Um, so it was her two pieces that were matched. It was badly sewn together. It did not fit. It wasn't... Um, a great a great combo so she's our first ca casualty so bye bye Simone um, now we're down to 14 um, I don't like the new intro to the show it's very busy it's it's very fast cutting and everything and you know everyone given a quote or a line or two about their personality it was kind of like okay what's up with that um, I didn't like that and, um, 
are there any straight guys on this show? I think every male designer is gay, and I think I'm safe to say that. Um, prove me otherwise, and let's see. Um, let's see. What is this bluefly.com? The, the accessory wall that they have to choose from this year. Um, that was kind of weird. Um, there's a lot of ink and tattoos <laughs> this season, which I like. I don't have no problem with, with ink and tattoos, um, as long as it's done well. Um, and I guess there's going to be some drama in this season. They showed it in the preview. Drama, drama, drama. Um, I have all my notes. I'm going over my notes. <laughs> and of course, I, I guess every person is going to have a, a chance to sign at the apartment board. Make it work. So, you know, that's that's Tim Gunn's catchphrase. Make it work. So, um, in this episode, two people signed the board. Make it work. Um, I can't remember who they were. Well... Uh, it's going to be very interesting. I think my top ones might be Rami. He's really, really good. Um, Steve, I like his sooty stuff. Uh, yeah, he's a Chicago boy. I'm pulling for him. Uh, but right now, I guess um, Rami's in the lead. We'll see how the other ones do in the next coming weeks. So that's my first review of Project Runway 2007. Um, look for the next weeks to show up. Talk to you then. Bye.